Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going to be going over the level four solar storm that happened yesterday for absolutely no good reason. We've got three other links to hit and an outlook for the paper of the year, which we're going to cover tomorrow. But we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find that the satellite calibration jitters were about the only thing to see up there. Solar flaring and eruptive activity took a little break, but we've got potential along with the possible corona hole interaction coming. Let's begin with where we started yesterday. The CME impact had occurred and it drove level two storms initially. But then in the wake of the CME, the magnetic field of the solar wind whipped around and Earth's magnetic field just couldn't take another twist. Level four geomagnetic storm, absolutely ridiculous. Luckily, it was just localized and regional issues technologically. A few satellite orbits degraded. There was a 3x increase in electrical fires, which is actually lower than normal. Zoom went down worldwide at the exact moment the field whipped. But it's not what happened technologically yesterday that is scary. It's what the event implies. Once again, for about the 50th time in the last three years, the solar storm levels are far outpacing what should happen based on the impacts Earth is taking. These signal the continued collapse of the magnetic field strength as the ongoing excursion of our planet leads us to the next stage of Earth. Folks, tomorrow we're going to hit a paper on that topic and how bad the Lachamp event really was four cycles ago. If you are impatient, you can track it down here. Folks, what we're in for is going to make what they call climate change look like a picnic. In what we're watching on our star the rest of the week, these sunspots are incoming and with just a touch of development could begin releasing big flares anytime. In the solar wind, it may be just three or four days until we're back in storm conditions if the stream from that southern coronal hole hits us. We're eyes open for all of it. Quick notes to close here. They found the absolute most ridiculous planet orbit ever. It's going polar vertically orbiting a binary system. Nothing like that has ever been seen before, and it's not even supposed to be possible, at least not without a planetary capture event. Now we've got the second paper here of the last decade suggesting that the universe is spinning. Now, two is not a big number, but truth sometimes screams at you when you see it. This fixes the Hubble tension, the dark energy problems, and possibly even dark matter if they can ever get their heads around the induced effects of that spin. Lastly, folks, I know several hundred of you have already started your in-ground shelters for the catastrophe. That's something tomorrow's major paper will touch on as required for survival. And these are the most energy efficient, heat trapping roof designs without sacrificing strength. I really don't actually love the top left one, the wide laminar option, but mathematically it works. Folks, pole shift conference on Saturday. Better believe that's going to be quite the day at Observer Ranch. Chicken class on Sunday, and then we dive into the full season schedule. At ObserverRanch.com, we have the full event list, detailed information, and many, many ways to stay. Can't wait to see you. It begins at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.